Well, it was a memorable event in more ways than one for people who participated in Saturday's walk to end Alzheimer's. Participants had to deal with the unpleasant smell of dead fish that were in the lake at Nathan Benderson Park in Sarasota County. That's where we find ABC 7's Rick Adams live with more details. Rick. Yeah, Jacqueline, there were a lot of dead fish here and it did cause a lot of headaches. Some of the people that were with us started saying, you know, I, my throat's a little bit sore and a couple of us started coughing a little bit. That's what Lori Brousseau and many others were feeling at Nathan Benderson Park Saturday during a walkathon charity event, including a group of elderly people from Home Instead Senior Care, where Brousseau works. She says there appeared to be at least 200 of the same kind of dead fish in the lake just floating around. Somebody said it smells a little bit like red tide, and I said my throat's a little bit sore too, and then we started seeing a dead fish and then another dead fish and as we're going like not a big clump of them but every little step along the way there was another dead fish in the water. Brousseau's daughter Gabriella participated in the walk as well. Although she's feeling better it was a little different story for her on Saturday. When we started walking and seeing all the dead fish I noticed that my coughing started to pick back up again and I started to have like more of an itchy throat than I was already dealing with. In a statement that we had received from Sanka the organization that oversees Nathan in Benderson Park. Its president says we are currently working closely with Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to investigate the recent issue of dead fish surfacing within the lake at Nathan Benderson Park. We are hopeful in working with FWC to find an explanation and to resolve this soon. The Brousseaus and others do want answers as to how this happened. I was surprised normally after the Alzheimer's walk, there's usually about 30 minutes to an hour, usually even more than that, of the vendors being out and offering sandwiches and stuff. And instead, by the time we came off the gangplank, everybody was already packing up and gone. And we are hoping to find out how this happened in the coming days. And as soon as we find out, we'll certainly pass it along to you. Reporting live from Sarasota County, I'm Rick Adams. Jacqueline, back to you. Thank you so much, Rick.